Hello, welcome to Elif's Kitchen. I'd like to share with you the recipe of orange peel jam. If you like the video, please don't forget to press the like button. So let's start our recipe. It is necessary to use thick peeled oranges in orange peel jam. The thicker the peels are, the better the results are. I wash six thick peeled oranges and I grate the orange colored outer parts like in the video. As you can see in the video, I'm just grating the outermost part of the oranges. I did the same with all my oranges. I'm cutting off the top and the bottom parts as you can see in the video. Then I separate the orange peels in form of slices. You can make orange peels in thin slices or thick slices, however you like. Remember that the oranges have to be thick peeled like this. Now I put plenty of water in a large pot and put my peels there and I close the lid of the pot and let it wait. I want the orange peels to give their bitterness into the water. I will often change the juice of the orange peels. The orange peels leave the bitterness to the water and I pour this water. As you can see in the video, I put plenty of water on the orange peels again. I change the water about 8 or 10 times like this for a day. At the final stage, I filter the orange peels and put them in my strainer. At this step, I tasted an orange, the bitterness was gone. You can also check. As you can see, I take one slice and I curl it like this. I stick orange peels in the toothpick, as you can see in the video. For each toothpick, I stick two slices of orange peel. You can also use a needle and thread for this procedure. If there are any white parts hanging over the orange peels, I will rip them off. I'm getting all the orange peels ready. Now my orange peels are ready. Look, these are the white parts hanging from the orange peels and I ripped them. I don't put them in my jam. I put the orange peels in a large pot and I will fill the pot with water and put it on the stove. I will boil it over a hot fire. Look, it began to boil. I boiled them like this for 20 minutes. The lid of the pot is open. You can stir occasionally. 20 minutes later, I put the lid on it because I want them to be soft. With the lid on, I boiled the orange peels for another 25 minutes. So I boiled them for 45 minutes in total. I boiled the orange peels over a hot fire. You can add water on it if necessary. I took the orange peel from the stove, drained the water, added cold water on it. I let it wait like this for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I will get the syrup ready. I put 4 cups of sugar, 1 cup of water and 1 cup of freshly squeezed orange juice in a large pan. I stir it occasionally until it boils. Now I add half a teaspoon of butter so the jam doesn't get too foamy. As you can see, the sherbet is boiling. I'm trying to get as much foam out of the syrup as I can. Then I add the orange peels into the boiling sherbet. I'm waiting for it to boil over the high heat. After it starts to boil, I cook over medium heat until the jam is in the desired consistency. I'm stirring it occasionally, of course, as you can see. I put a teaspoon of lemon salt just before taking it from the stove. And I put in a tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And I mix the jam. I took some of my jam's juice into a plate to see the consistency of the jam and I cooled it. The consistency of the jam is fine. I'm getting the jam from the stove. So in total, I boiled the jam over medium heat for about 50 minutes. You can also adjust the cooking time according to the consistency of your own jam. Look, the jam is completely cold. You are actually seeing it the next day, and the consistency is fine. 
As you can see in the video, I took off the toothpicks. Our orange peel jam has an amazing taste. I strongly recommend you to try it. If you like my video, please don't forget to like my video and comment. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.